The Duke and Duchess of Sussex left the royal family last year and have since pursued a string of media ventures in the U.S. The latest work from either of the couple is the, intimate and heartfelt, memoir announced by Harry, 36, in July. Slated for a tentative release in late 2022, the Duke's autobiography will be published by Penguin Random House UK, with all proceeds to be donated to charity. It is set to cover his, his lifetime in the public eye from childhood to the present day. In a statement, Harry said the book will include his military service in Afghanistan, as well as his role as a husband and a father. This is the latest in a stream of attempts for the Sussexes to change the narrative around them, which included a bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey, in which they detailed their truth about what happened during their time as royals and after. Author and publisher Andrew Lowney claimed Harry's memoir as the latest example of the Sussexes attempting to define their public image. Speaking to Express.co.uk, Mr. Lowney discussed his new book, Traitor King, The Scandalous Exile of the Duke and Duchess of Windsor, and also gave his insight into modern royals. Through extensive interviews and research, Traitor King, examines the life of former King Edward VIII, later known as the Duke of Windsor, Harry's great-great-uncle. The Duke of Windsor abdicated the throne in 1936 over opposition to his intention to marry divorced American socialite Wallace Simpson, and the pair moved abroad. He published a memoir in 1951, in which he opened up further about his abdication and his, lonely, 326-day reign as monarch. A King's Story. The memoirs of H.R.H. The Duke of Windsor, K.G., hit the shelves just six months before his brother King George VI died. It has been noted that Harry, too, married an American divorcee and gave up his royal role to live abroad with her. Now, he has also opted to write a memoir in which he will reveal what it was really like to grow up behind palace walls. Mr. Lowney claimed both men have tried to shape the narrative around themselves by speaking out about their own experience and perspective. He also highlighted the fact that their decision to leave royal life caused a schism in the family and fallout between two brothers and their wives. Controversial royal memoirs are not without precedent, such as Sarah Ferguson's 1996 book, which destroyed her relationship with Diana, before the Princess of Wales's death the following year. Despite promising Diana she would not be mentioned, Fergie including an embarrassing passage about her borrowing her former friend's shoes, which she claimed gave her verrucas. However, Harry's memoir, like the Duke of Windsor's, may provoke even greater public interest than Fergie's given his proximity to the crown. While Fergie, Prince Andrew's ex-wife, was never destined to become queen, Harry has always been high up in the royal line of succession. The Duke of Sussex spent a large part of his life third in line to the throne until the birth of his brother Prince William's children. However, while there is an obvious parallel that both Harry and Edward married American divorcees, Wallace and Meghan are very different characters. Unlike Wallace, Meghan is known for her humanitarian work and advocacy for gender and racial equality. She has been the UN Women's Advocate for Women's Political Participation and Leadership since 2015. She has also worked to empower women and girls in developing countries through infrastructure and education initiatives in countries such as Rwanda. 
Both Harry and Meghan have remained dedicated to their charitable endeavors after leaving royal life, setting up their non-profit organization Archwell Foundation. Trader King is available via Bonnier Books. Related articles Diana and Freddie Mercury acted like naughty school children Queen's private secretary on Jubilee. You must not kill, Monarch Prince William school threat. I will send my knights to kill you.